This interview is brought to you by The Come Up Show, where that feel-good music lives. Real, recognize, real. Make sure to check out more interviews at thecomeupshow.com. This is the come-up show where that feel-good music lives, real recognized, real. I'm here at the mansion, and I'm with an artist who had, has had a very big year. His debut album is called Intro, and all three singles so far, Curious, Private Dancer, Fantasy, have been very big hits. And uh, he was nominated for five MMBAs, and he won for Pop Video of the Year for Fantasy. Please introduce yourself. My name is Danny Fernandez. So, so you had a very big year, but uh, let me go back to the beginning. Your song, Curious. Curious was leaked, yeah. and I guess a, a DJ from Germany got it, and he went huge in Europe, and he did a lot of touring. Yeah. And then you came back to Canada, and you did, and you pushed Curious independently, no label, by yourself, yeah. which uh, a lot of artists don't have a lot of success with. So far, of all the artists I've interviewed and I've seen blow up, it seems like you need more. T having talent is not enough, but you need you need to you need to basically build something yourself before people can take you seriously and and you're signed to a label. Would you agree with that? I agree with that too. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people didn't take me seriously because. Mm -hmm. First of all, my brother, Sean Desmond. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people just thought I was trying to do it because he was doing it. Mm -hmm. So he didn't even have anything to do with my project. So I, I, I took him to the side and be like, yo, if you're not going to help me, because he was the first person I went to for help. Like, mm -hmm. I, I didn't even want help. I just want, like, your advice. Give me your advice. Mm -hmm. And he's like, honestly, man, it's, it's a tough business, especially in Canada out here. The record labels are not really signing a lot of people. And, mm -hmm. and if they are, it's like rock or, or stuff like that. So mm -hmm. what I did was I saved up, because I was a, a dancer before, so I had saved up a lot of money. From, from dancing and stuff and, and that's when I got Joel Santana to, to spit a verse on Curious and mm -hmm. I think that's what it was going to take because my brother was a huge success here in Canada sure. so and people were going to people were going to criticize me whether I'm going to be as good or better than he is mm -hmm. and I wasn't trying to be better or, or anything like that but to, in, the, in the people's eyes mm -hmm. that's what they're going to they're going to criticize they're going to criticize me like crazy they're going to mm -hmm. always compare so it was either like I'm going to do it real big or I'm not going to do it at all mm -hmm. so that's when I hit up Joel's people I said yo let's try to work this out Santana I Mr. Danny Fernandez, you did. It's going down. <laughs> he jumped on the track, he did the video, and bam, hit top 20 in like two weeks. And that was one of my questions, actually. Uh, I, heard, I remember hearing uh, Curious. I didn't know who you were at the time, but I heard Joel Santana, and I'm like, okay, this guy must be somebody if Joel's is on, yeah. on it, because he was an established artist, and he does it well. And Belly did it also with Genuine, and that song was huge. Do you think it's important to have somebody that's well-established on your record when you're first coming out? The song was good either or without Joel's. Yeah. You know, he just made it better. Yeah. But I think it's, it's if you're coming from Canada and you're trying to do something, then I think... It, it, it would be really good to have someone like that on a track, like someone with street cred. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to get the, the younger fans, but I'm also trying to get the older fans. So, I mean, Joel Santana is is huge, and, and uh -huh. people love him. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, for Like, sure. even, like, I, I know a lot of dudes are, are hating and stuff like that, but even a lot of dudes have been, mostly dudes have been giving me love. They're yeah, not even man. hating, you know what I mean? So, dipset. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> dipset. So, I, I try yeah. to do that and keep it real, you know? Okay, so you're, you're signed to CP Records, and so far, for everything I've seen, you guys don't seem like a regular record label you guys seem like real like family like everybody's like brothers and like you seem like a real real family yeah. is, is that true is that yeah, yeah no yeah? of course yeah. it's me and belly like yeah. we sat in the studio day and night three mm -hmm. three like for three months straight recording my album mm -hmm. so he did a lot most of the writing on my my first album mm -hmm. and uh we became like best friends man. I mean, like you like me excite me slightly you might be my wifey and do this for me daily nightly me and Belly are like boys we hang out all the time mm -hmm. I mean my manager my my CEO mm -hmm. it's not like it's not like a record label to me like mm -hmm. most record labels will sign artists and sign artists and sign artists and and there's they have so many artists to focus on that they don't even focus on you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I, I didn't want to sign to like I had offers from 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 major labels and I just didn't want to take the deals you know what I mean I wanted mm -hmm. to to sign my record deal and I wanted to work straight away like I didn't want to be put on on a shelf and be like you know what we're gonna yeah. work on you when it's your turn see that's the thing with CP they're like family they they, they put every penny they had into me man and and look what happened. Mm -hmm. 
So is there uh, like do you and Belly have like would you say a friendly competition like yo my single is gonna smoke your single kind of no, thing no, or is, is it, like not obviously him but like you know like playing around kind no, of no no like yeah. f my singles are his singles you know what I mean it goes the same with him mm -hmm. um, he like I said he does a lot of my writing but me and Belly are like brothers man we got no count he's a rapper mm -hmm. you know what I mean he's yeah. a rapper I'm a I'm a pop star you know mm -hmm. so so you like you were saying you were dancing before and you have some serious moves you you can you know you can you can uh, you can work it basically and as and when I seen the pop artist most of them can move do you think it's important to have uh, other abilities as well than other than the singing yeah, add to of it of course I mean uh, dancing is always a good thing man. I've been mm -hmm. dancing since I was 6 years old like yeah. professionally like mm -hmm. I, t I took dance classes till this day I still take dance classes I mean it's more than just going out, out stage and holding a microphone and singing a song I mean a lot of people can do that but it's about entertaining the crowd you know what I mean mm -hmm. like if the crowd's going to just stand there and watch you just sing a song I mean it's good if you're uh, opera singer, you know what I mean. But when you see a, someone singing pop music, you want to make sure dance, you know. Mm -hmm. So I you, think you want you want them to remember your yeah, performance exactly. and talk about exactly. it, and hopefully exactly. some kind of emotional connection. Exactly. Then you have a, a loyal uh, fan base, basically. So uh, you were nominated for five MMVAs, which is huge, that, and and you won Pop Video of the Year, man. And you accomplished this, that I would say, seems like in a in a short time, like in the past year, kind yeah, of thing. It hasn't even been yeah. a a year since I released yeah. well it's been a year February made a year since I released my first single and honestly man I couldn't believe all the love that this country is showing me man. Yeah. I got five nominations man that's more I got tied with Nickelback Nickelback's they've huge been yeah, they've, they've been, been, been doing, doing it for like their yeah. whole lives you know yeah. what I mean and yeah man I was flattered I couldn't believe yeah. it I was, how, did, how did that feel like, you were like wow like, yeah like, exactly <laughs> that's how it felt like yeah. wow and uh I mean, I didn't win them all, but I won one, which is good enough yeah. for me. You know what I mean? But I didn't. I didn't even expect to be nominated for that many. But mm -hmm. when I found out, I was like, okay, this, they got to give me one. Yeah. You know? No matter what, that's still recognition, and yeah. you know, adds even more to your reputation. It, it, it made a huge buzz. That's mm -hmm. what it made. Like, mm -hmm. I was doing. Everybody wanted interviews. Everybody wanted. Like, you know what I mean? It was yeah. good for myself and and for my for my reputation, like you say. Mm -hmm. So I, I was uh, checking out uh, this one interview. Uh, you were going. You were, you just got your motorcycle license, and you're looking at Ducatis, man. How's that been? Have you? Are you still like you know when you start out, you drive slow or? I started. I, I got my license like a month ago okay. or two months ago. It's yeah. been two months now, mm -hmm. and I, honestly, I, I had to rehearse for that red carpet yeah. for like three weeks straight, man. That it's hard to ride. Yeah. Like I thought it was gonna be like, all right, get my license, hop on the bike, and go. Yeah. But it wasn't yeah. even like that. Mm -hmm. And that thing has some power, man. Like That's you wouldn't believe. Like yeah. I, I ended up buying it, man. Yeah. It's so. Was it, it a black one? No, or? it's a, a red and black. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's dope. Yeah. So, is there anything else that you wanted to say to the fans, to the people out there? And first of all, w w what's next for you? Is uh, you gonna you just release a new single? Yeah, never again. Never Shot again. the video yeah. in Prague. It's released uh, now yeah, too. That crazy, yeah, man. it's a beautiful video. So yeah, uh, whoever yeah. hasn't seen it has got to see it. Anything else that you want to say to the fans and people out there that are watching all around the world, Canada? I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me thus far. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say keep supporting me, buy the album, watch the videos, come to the shows. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Danny. I say you've done a lot of good things and I'm feeling the music and you're just going to go higher and higher and higher and higher. That's what it is, right? Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Danny Fernandez and you're listening to The Come Up Show where that feel-good music lives, real recognized real. Peace out.